For the weekend. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cause he out here cussing people out. Early this morning. Come on. Bon. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah, he got Rocky Tennessee. He must be taking a dump. Wow, he can do that. I have to be at the gyno in 45 minutes. I'm trying to multitask and not waste time, but we tried to talk to y'all this morning. I didn't go get my mammogram done yesterday, y'all, because they didn't send me my referral. And you know you be needing that. They will be trying to charge you. So, there's little Bond. Say good morning. And he's naked, y'all. He's naked. <laughs> he's going to put on his little hoodie right now. Come here. He don't like to be naked. He just don't. Hmm. Oh yeah. He loves him some clothes. He loves him some clothes. <laughs> so that's what he gonna put on today. With a little sweatshirt. He said the ladies coming over. He gotta be cute. Come on. Come on. He say he a pleb. <laughs> he a he a he a G. He a G. Got on his little hoodie. He's like, Mom, this hoodie's kind of choking me. Okay, there you go. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm so fly. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> So y'all, let me spend the next 30 minutes pulling my life together, pulling myself together, because clearly um, I just got a shower, just put on some lounge clothes, <laughs> courtesy of Walmart, hello, y'all better stop sleeping on Walmart, but let me get my, yeah, my whole soul together. I can't talk to y'all and get dressed this morning because I don't want y'all to fall because um, the tripod is not set up for this camera. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Do y'all see Annabelle? She's sitting in the Goodwill waiting to be purchased. But she ain't going home with us. Shower length. Bye. Y'all look a barn onesie. Naughty, nice, and depends. Santa is, if Santa is asking. He got on some depends, y'all, and he's so cute. There you go. He, he ain't fighting to take it off for nothing. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday. And some of y'all wanted to see this loose. Okay, well, here you go. This is it. Loose. So, you're probably wondering, Steph, why aren't you wearing it like this? Because it's not thick enough. It's kind of, um, it's kind of gappy. Um, and this is just something temporary. I told y'all I called this accessory hair. And that's what it's been, accessory hair. So, I'm about to get dressed for work. I'm about to put it back up into like a pineapple. And, um, yeah, this probably will be the last week y'all see this. Because my, my hair is itching. My scalp is itching. And, uh, we'll do a poll 
on what I should do to my hair next because I think I got something y'all won't even expect just to uh, get me some of more of that length um, that I need in the crown for them uh, faux locks I got another plan so I'll be back let me get this. yes I am at Dunkin Donuts getting me a coffee show them um, I'm doing a mid shift today which I don't like doing but anywho um so I gotta get me some coffee to get my uh myself popping as y'all can see um I have tamed this hair and it's in a turban and also I just cut the bangs a little bit more because they were hanging too far in my face that uh I couldn't see my eye makeup you feel me anywho that's important to this morning I'm having one of those days where um I'm not having a good makeup day and it's because I tried this new liquid liner and it has like a thick felt tip pen and I wasn't comfortable using it so it's like one wing look one way and this wing look another way I tried this new uh, galaxy uh, eye palette by BH cosmetics I tried that uh, this morning because I bought one last night at Ulta and I really liked the color palette mix that they have for like the galaxy eyeshadows so I tried that this morning I liked it um but y'all I'm not liking my hair okay I'm just not and what I'm trying to do is I'm just really trying to be patient that's what I'm trying mm. Woo. yesterday y'all had the perfect perfect iced coffee yesterday afternoon it was perfect okay so the reason I'm not liking my hair is because it seems like when you want your hair to grow it's not that my hair is not growing it is um, it's just not where I want it to be right now at this moment um, so much to the point that the barber was asking Jasmine last week is your mama still growing her hair out yes I am I really 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 want to try faux locks and if I can get a taste of faux locks like all over I really would like to try that look because I have enough length like from here up so I was just trying to like grow a little bit more down here without like not cutting like tapering nothing okay my ultimate look though is I would like to try it the whole head if I'm not patient enough y'all I'm just gonna do the crown okay and I'm gonna go get my hair mm. shaped up and all that stuff okay so right now I'm just trying to be patient and I'm just trying to, this is an opportunity to try some different hairstyles. Como estas, y'all? What? Not everybody has something negative to say. Oh my gosh. Whew. Yes, I look ghostly pale, okay? It's all good though. However, y'all have been missing out on me because literally, I have just been, go figure, y'all already know the answer, busy. And yesterday when I was about to vlog, y'all saw that little, little tiny clip, literally, that was me turning the camera on for literally 0.2 seconds. Um, yeah, that didn't go so well, right? And I didn't come back after that due to I was dealing with my daughter. So, y'all, it is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And I'm getting ready to go to work. I was off 
well i worked saturday i didn't vlog i don't think sunday i know i didn't vlog because um literally when you're juggling so much literally sometimes you just have to be like you have to take a break from everything so that means sunday my husband was off girls was both home yeah because i know they both got jobs now hi girls was both home so we got up sunday morning and we went to breakfast we uh kumbaya as a family you know talked got caught up on our um our week and all that good stuff and um pretty much it was good sunday night i had a um store meeting with charlotte Roos. and if you haven't figured out already um i'm going to tough it out with them for the holidays uh and then we'll figure the rest out come the new year which i pretty much already know how that's gonna play out so we had a meeting a uh, holiday meeting um just letting the staff know what to expect throughout the holiday season this dreadful week black friday another reason i ain't been vlogging is just because i've been really just trying to divvy up responsibilities such as working on the website getting things up getting things edited y'all know right now we are like a two-woman show here okay two-woman show with some Eclect Nista uh, volunteers and thank God for them, okay? Because they make my job a whole lot easier. So, what's been going on other than that? Getting the website done, working with the roofs, talking with my mom and stuff, um, going back and forth with situation with Jazz getting a car and stuff. And um, she, she did something that she never would do uh i know just because um some people have gotten so much bad uh press from using gofundme um i know i would i don't know i just i i, I want to say never say never just say if you have control over it i just don't think i would be able to use that um just because people People make assumptions and um, people probably like, why your parents not going to help you get a car? That ain't my responsibility. Uh, Y'all see, I got two vehicles. We're about to get a new vehicle um, early next year. And we're going to be getting a newer vehicle, a newer SUV. And I can't even tell you if it's a new SUV. It's a retirement gift for my husband. My mom... I never told y'all that story. I never told y'all the story about what happened to me with my mom getting a car for me. Well, I'm going to tell y'all here. Yeah. And some people may not agree with my philosophy. However, I learned a lesson from my own self. So when, um, hold on y'all, because I got to be working and getting dressed at the same time. Because I got to be to work at 430 and um to take some stress off of me um i've created a grocery list and um i'm going to allow these girls to help with the holiday festivities i'm not gonna put it all on me you feel me um i have one grown daughter and i have one that's 16 and um they both know how to move around in the kitchen and this year y'all i just said i'm not putting that all that pressure and that stress on me um we were having company i'm not i'm still not sure if we're still having company because um my husband has yet to confirm with his buddy so Alyssa, if you watching this vlog girl if you coming over i'm gonna need you to call me okay call me so i need you to bring that potato salad that you whoo that potato salad was so good okay and i'm not a potato salad eating person but you know what i mean right Anywho, y'all, I just said I'm not going to stress about Thanksgiving. 
I hate the fact that people have skipped over Thanksgiving and just like have immediately jumped to Christmas. Uh, we haven't. We still have fall decor outside in our front yard. We still have fall wreaths up and we will not be putting anything Christmas up until after Thanksgiving. Okay. So in the spirit, um, I know that when I get home tonight, I'm more likely going to be up a little late, um, prepping food and I'm going to have Jazz and Jada cut up greens and cut up potatoes and fresh carrots and stuff like that because um, I wanted a turkey and our friends that was coming from Connecticut, y'all know the Joneses. Uh, just conflict with schedule with you know when his wife has to work when I have to work so they were bringing the turkey and they was gonna fry it like I saw them do it that first year y'all spent Thanksgiving with us however we probably still planning to do something like towards the weekend with them where that turkey gonna still get fried so I'm not pressed about a turkey but I am gonna go buy a ham I am gonna buy chicken quarters and stuff and make stuffing and i'm going to make meatballs for my job because we're having a black uh, potluck on black friday so the staff doesn't have to worry about going out into the food court second okay got this list ready i'm coming home mr long is tdy tonight so I'm gonna be up probably as late as I can stay up and I'm gonna be prepping. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, I just plan to be cooking all day, chilling and getting ready for the holiday. So now that I've explained all of that good stuff to y'all and how I'm utilizing uh, my team here, yeah, team, uh, we are going to make it work. Jazz probably won't be up late tonight because she got to work first thing in the morning, like 5 o'clock in the morning. But by the time she get home, she'll be able to help and assist and be merry and we're going to do what we do. But for the most part, y'all, let me get back to the car. When I was a junior in high school and I was a junior uh, at Hollandale High, okay? My mom, Mama May Rose, y'all know. My mom had got me a car that year for, it was for Christmas. It was. And uh, I was Jada's age. And yes, I knew how to drive. I had just got my uh, driving permit and my driver's license all within that summer. And I was going to American Senior High. So, in case y'all didn't know, I used to be late to school every freaking day, okay? Every day. And because I was late every day, my mom said, okay, maybe if I get her a car, she can assist with, you know, taking us to school, yada, yada, yada. Single mother stuff, you know? Well, y'all, I thought my mom was playing with me when she, uh, we went to the car lot. I thought she was getting herself a new car. And no, my mama, she got me a car. She didn't trade her car in or anything. And I'm gonna say, literally, I know I'm the reason why this didn't happen to any other sister after me, okay? Because I, I effed up, y'all, I effed up big time. So with that being said, um, my mom got me a Toyota Tercel. It was cobalt blue. Y'all, it was it was everything, okay? It was brand spanking new. It had 12 miles on it. Now, y'all probably like, stuff. why did your mama get you a brand new car and you are 16, going on 17, why would your mom get you a brand new car? Well, like I said, I'm assuming that was to, I was to assist her with getting a school, running errands, you know, stuff helping my mom out because she was a single mom well what happened was i get this car y'all i was like i was i was thinking i was the i was the ish okay because yeah my mom didn't get me no hoopty my mama got me brand spanking new 12 miles on it brand new car okay 
y'all like within the first two weeks um my mom got my windows tinted because my mom believed in tinting windows on cars but i don't know if y'all remember this back in the 90s when you used to get the um tint in the front of your windshield and it used to be like the wave child i had the wave chrome going on and everything okay everything and it was it was my little whip okay um i used to drive it to school and four months later y'all something happened and i'm gonna tell y'all what happened four months later i got careless okay i got careless at school one morning i drove myself to school i came in from the back from west students park and your girl uh went to go sit like I always do. Don't ask me why I was distracted on this particular morning because I, I can't even tell you why. However, I can tell you this. Uh, I effed up royally, okay? Royally. Me, being distracted by whatever. I was sitting down on the bench talking to some of my homeboys and yes, y'all, back in the day, I had more friends that were guys. And because I was a cheerleader, I knew all basketball players, even football players and stuff. And we all then grew up and went to school from like elementary all the way to high school together. So I just had like a lot of... A lot of dudes that was my friends that knew my uncle and y'all already know my uncle i tell y'all he was crazy like he ain't play like don't be trying to holler at my niece you feel me i just was like hanging with them sitting on the bench in the school in front of the cafeteria yada 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 y'all tell me this why the bell rang and i got up to go to class and i was going to my history class that morning i remember it like it happened yesterday and uh yeah your girl got up i ain't have a purse just got up walked to class with my books sat down as the warning bell rings i realized i don't have my car keys so i jump up jump up out my seat i tell my teacher i need to run because i left my keys on the bench now literally y'all if y'all are in high school y'all already know school bell rings boop, time to go to class right literally five minutes that's what it is five minutes the warning bell comes on boop, to let your ass know you got one minute to get to class okay uh i was up by the time that warning bell went off and i was going back to um where I was sitting in, in the cafeteria, in front of the doors and all of that, where the tardy table is, right? By the time I got back there, y'all, tell me why Keys was gone. Keys was gone. My first reaction, I did. I ran to the parking lot, okay? So then I ran through the cafeteria, at the double doors, and I ran to where I parked. Just that quick, y'all, my car, was gone gone and i was in disbelief because y'all i sat there in the empty parking spot on the you know little concrete thing i, I forget what you call it right now like saying this is not happening my mama is going to fucking kill me like the whole car is gone like gone disappeared not there somebody took it literally somebody stole it let's take the literally part out somebody did not steal it in the words of my husband, James, you know, after he heard about this. And in the words of, like, James was my friend at the time. Y'all know he was going to American. And I had a boyfriend. His name was Keenan. And he was out of school. But in their words, their exact words was, Boo, ain't nobody steal your car. You gave your car away. Literally. <sighs> Y'all, all I could just think about was my mama. I am not. 
all I could think about was my mama. Like, she is going to beat my ass and kill me, okay? Like, I am about to die on this day. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's all I can say is, oh my gosh. I sat out there, I was crying. Security, I done told security, they're out there. They like, they saw when I parked, but they thought that literally it was me that was leaving, okay? When they saw my car move. And so, uh, y'all know, I had to, I was in such disbelief. I'm thinking that whoever took it was gonna bring the car back. I know, that's dumb. Why would I think that? I was young and dumb at the time, okay? I was 16. Y'all know when you're 16, you think you know it all. You think you done been there, done that, and you ain't did shit. Oh, Lord. Flashbacks, I'm telling you. So y'all probably wonder, Steph, what happened when you called me, Rose? Oh, my God. I'm going to say this. In the midst of a tragedy, literally, in the midst of my own personal experience with a tragedy that day, I called my mama at work and I'm crying. I'm boohoo crying and security is by me and everything. And I tell my mama somebody stole my car. So, in her mind, you know, she thinks somebody broke in, somebody hot it, and they stole it. Y'all had to tell this lady, I left my keys. I left my keys, and I had no purse. This is why I fuss at my daughters now about carrying her purses, because wallets and keys can easily be laid down, misplaced, put somewhere, and... You never know who watching you. And in my case, I didn't know who was watching me. Literally. I felt like I'll be sure. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I have no privacy. Oh, y'all. That's how I was feeling. That's how I was feeling. Bond is over here looking at me like, what is wrong with you, lady? O M G. So yes, I had to tell my mama I left my keys for somebody to get them, and that's why I don't have my car. Y'all, she was she was cooler than I thought she was gonna be. Okay, cooler than I thought she was gonna be. She was mad. Don't get that ish twisted at all. She was mad. Did I say she was mad? She was mad. Okay. Just want to make sure I put that out there. However, she was understanding that I wasn't in the car when the car got taken. And clearly, her daughter's life is more valuable than a vehicle. And so, I was like, whoo, praise the Lord. Now, y'all, like I remember this day so clearly. There was a tragedy amongst our family within the same day. And I ain't even talking about the tragedy of my car. That's materialistic things. That same, on that same day, we found out that my cousin's girlfriend, Carmela, and I've talked about this story, I know this year, earlier this year, when I was talking about um, the girl in the box, she was murdered. She was murdered on that day. And I just remember that just took like all the attention off of what had happened with my car my mom being upset and stuff that just took like all the attention away from that and i do recall my mama just like hugging me and holding me and holding all of us that night because you never know what can happen you know just in a blink of an eye clearly y'all in five minutes my car was gone i know i gave it to them okay literally my mom filed a police report and all of that stuff. And then, like, she just was saying that she was glad that I wasn't in it. They didn't, like, jack me while I was in it or, like, you know, take it. But clearly, it was somebody who knew me and somebody who knew my car. And it was just too easy to go out there beep, beep, and find it. Okay? So, amongst that tragedy, that did take the attention off of me. Not that that's what I wanted because I was heartbroken when I found out that my cousin's girlfriend had been murdered, 
okay? Long story short, y'all, my mom, she filed, you know, insurance claims and all that stuff. And y'all, they did not find my car immediately. It was 30 days plus uh, when they found it. And when they found it, it was stripped. It was damaged. It was totaled, okay? Due to the fact that whoever stole it, Joy rotted in it, got some parts off it. They just, they ain't care. So from that point on, when my mama got the money from my car from the claim she basically said you gonna have to get your own car moving forward she's like i am not taking this insurance money and buying you a hoopty i'm not buying you a little car a piece of car you gonna have to get your own and i was like that's fair y'all i did i messed it up for all my sisters after me i did uh tiff got a car tiff got her own car tiff had bought a kia my mom i believe co-signed for her to get a car um my sister Demetrius, my mom had got rid of her mazda and she gave my sister the mazda and then um my sister later on down the road she traded the mazda in and she got her a newer car my sister ashley ashley went through several cars but they were cars that she got on her own. And she did buy some hoopies and stuff. So when I tell y'all, my old girl didn't do what she did with me ever, 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 ever again. And it was three more behind me. Yeah, she didn't. Word is bond. The valuable lesson learned from this, though, is anything worth getting, literally, you do have to work hard for it. Now, Jazz posted a GoFundMe. And, you know, there was some negative comments that I saw saying that you know she should get a second job yada 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 y'all if mr long don't have, see his car now you think he gonna see his car with a second job no he's not he's getting ready to retire in a couple of months when he retires he is going to be commuting to work therefore that's why her timeline has come to we need to get this happening and popping right now People, I know, like I said, I know a lot of people have made light or have done ridiculous things when they do GoFundMe and stuff. But I am here, y'all hearing it from her mother. She ain't like that. She works hard. She is, she hustling with this. She's hustling with YouTube. And y'all see how it's like we get thrown off with YouTube too. YouTube can be a huge money maker. But I'm going to be here and I'm going to be honest with y'all and transparent. It ain't well not for us it ain't okay it's not um that's why i say some people do youtube for different reasons and what we do it for it's not monetary it is literally video diary for me and it's a journal for her to look back and everybody has humble beginnings and every time she tries to save money something comes up um people will throw shade at her and i just told her don't address it. Don't address it. It's what people do. And people like to get a reaction out of you. Because I shed some light on her too. I had a subscriber say something to me last week in one of the comments that I just could not entertain. I literally just had to laugh and keep it moving. Because I cannot feed you uh, relevancy. You feel me? You're not relevant and everybody has an opinion and that part I can truly respect. And since I'm talking about opinions and stuff, y'all, let me go ahead and apologize for not being more educated and more involved in what was going on with the whole NFL kneeling thing. Some of you have definitely made some points to me about how being in the military, you don't find it disrespectful. Well, now that I've learned more through you guys enlightening me as well and shedding your own opinions that clearly I do find... Uh, relative and you know clearly you was breaking it down for me for me to better understand myself all i can say is thank you and i appreciate that okay thank you because now i look at it totally different i don't see kneeling as being disrespectful because somebody pointed out we kneel to pray we kneel to give thanks to, to our father god we kneel when a player is down on the field you know kneeling is is showing it is showing a sign of respect and it's showing how humble you can be too in that very moment because when i get on my knees to pray y'all i don't care who's around me i don't care who hears me 
I pour my heart out to God and I let him be the one to judge me. So for that, I do want to say I owe y'all an apology for my miseducated ass for not understanding the full the full story about what was going on with the NFL kneeling. So I'm just putting this out there, okay? I want to start vlogging this out popping, okay? And it's going to be the last vlog y'all get from me right before Thanksgiving. Y'all don't be so quick to judge. GoFundMe literally is a way to help people raise money. And her grandmother is trying to help her also get a car. I told y'all my mom said she wasn't doing it for me no more or my sisters. But she's willing to help my daughter. And y'all probably saying stuff why you and James can't help. Because I'm in a situation right now where I am an entrepreneur, a, a new entrepreneur, okay? And it's just certain things I can't dip and dab in right now when my husband's about to retire and I want to purchase a house again one day. It's just, it's a lot. And there's no need to explain everything to y'all. But I'm just saying, cut my girl some slack, okay? If you want to help, if you want to donate, donate. And if you don't, then don't. But you don't got to put the five cent in on it, you feel me? Anywho, I hope y'all enjoyed this little mini story time with Steph. I'm about to for real get dressed, like for real. And I'll probably be back just to say one more thing, you feel me? Okay. Baby. Baby. This is how I woke up. This morning. Earlier. Cause I ain't got no damn sleep. Now that I got some sleep, let's see what I look like now. Mm. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> this is what happens when you get some sleep. It didn't happen till like four o'clock this morning, and then I was back up at six thirty, and then y'all get the point. I finally got me some Z's in though. Good morning, Eclectmistas. It's Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve. And you guys are on some serious life support right now. So, I have the juice that can get y'all back right. And I'm getting ready to make my bed. So, while I'm making my bed, I'm going to juice y'all up. Okay? I'll be back. And voila, the bed is made. Now I'm just going to go clean off this stuff over there on my nightstand from last night. And yeah, bed is made. Well, this needs to look a little bit more namaste because honey, that's too neat. So namaste, you feel me? Y'all, these earrings would have been so cute. The water is just like... This is like excessively too big. Like, damn. See, y'all saw it, it fell. Mm -hmm. You know, water isn't really wet. <laughs> Jada, shut up. Silly self. <laughs> you wanna know what I mean? You've never thought about that though? Why do they call a parking lot a parking lot, but you park, wait. Why do they call a parking lot a parking lot, but you drive in a parking lot? Why do they call a driveway a driveway, but you park in a driveway? <laughs> you special. Last minute-ish. Move on, stuck in the kitchen. <laughs> Not yet. Y'all, Jada thinks she's doing something. Can we do it one more time? Do it one more time? Do it like how you was doing it. Get it, girl. Get it. She wanted to wash the room so bad. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we have we are in a process of cooking. This is my nerve. Thanksgiving dinner. We have Scott's coming over tomorrow. So Ooh. what is your problem? My phone is recorded. Oh, what 
with you. <laughs> you are getting from. Look, wow. look, look, Bond, over there begging. Where your phone at, ma'am? Uh uh, leave my phone alone. So, let me get some cooking. This mac and cheese, these Swedish meatballs. And this turkey. Please stop. Guys, look. Look at the cheese. No, she don't got my Olivia Pope glass. Oh, what you do? Did you get a car today? You're doing Olivia Pope today? Be back. Y'all, Jazz is being a chef. You don't want to come out. You ain't squeezing hard enough. I don't want to squeeze too hard. Let me assist. Got it, y'all. You gonna have to go back and like refill them once. Well, I don't want to use it all. You never use all your deviled egg mix. Look at it, moving like a little chef. This is easy. Don't cough. Tom goes say. Y'all look at Jada damn eyebrows. What the hell is this? Mommy, leave me alone. What the hell? Leave me alone. Where's Bond? Behind you. I'm waiting for something to drop. I ain't got no hoes. I ain't got no hoes. Where did my hoes go? I ain't got no hoes. I ain't got no hoes. Where did my hoes go? Where did my hoes go? So y'all know we is up here having some um kitchen shenanigans on Eve Thanksgiving while we cooking. So. That last cook I just heard, I ain't got no hoes. Y'all know that one, Tay Tay, cause that don't sound like Tay Tay. Y'all know Tay Tay can kill it. Let me like, Gonna be like anime 
And you're going to eat that patty pie. You're going to eat that patty pie. Anime Bullock? My name is Jason. Yeah, it is. But you're going to eat that damn pie. All right, y'all. It is the end of the day. And we have already started a new day. Because it is 12-27 on Thanksgiving Day. And I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. Happy, happy, happy. Because the next vlog that y'all get from me will be on Friday, November 25th. And that will be the first official day of Vlogmas. So, do y'all know what Vlogmas means? That means y'all gonna be getting daily vlogs every day. Now, don't try to come beat me up. They only 10, 15 minutes long. Because I'm gonna give y'all the best 10, 15 minutes of the day. Okay? So, with that being said, I just finished um, all my Thanksgiving dinner prep. Get my mind right for Vlogmas because officially tomorrow is uh, when I'm vlogging for Thanksgiving. That will be the vlog that you guys get on Friday, November 25th. Yeah, it feels me. Anywho, so I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, them clips y'all saw from Snapchat, you know, right before I'm this clip right here um y'all we were just playing like literally like we was really trying to see if we could sing <laughs> clearly i i need mean, i quit my uh day job or my entrepreneurship right because um neither i nor tay tay nor nene or jazz are ready or even the angry person you know angry person and I don't know who the other chick was. I think that was Penelope. And y'all know Sam Child. None of us can sing. Okay? We do not have Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey vocals. Okay? So, on that note, apologies. Don't be taking that ish literal. Because sometimes people be taking things personal. And... Y'all know we ain't got no hoes. Y'all know that. I was singing something I heard on Jay the Snap. That's all. It just sounded funny. It was like if you really wanted to see if you could sing, hit the snow. Anywho, I'm about to go get my life ready for bed because I'm tired. And I got my greens done, Swedish meatballs done, my uh, baked chicken for my baked uh stuffing because i ain't do a turkey this year uh my ham is the only thing i have to put in the oven in the morning and mac and cheese i semi baked it and i'll pop it back in there to finish baking because i just wanted everything to go in the refrigerator devil eggs i can whip up a bowl of rice real quick i got my honey rolls Hawaiian honey rolls, whatever you call them things. And yep, I cheated. Cause y'all, I don't put pressure on myself like that no more. Back in the day, and maybe once my girls, you know, get established and on their own, you know, they could become some bakers and you know, they can bake pies and cakes and stuff like that. I can do it. It's just, I don't have the time nor the will. To want to stay in the kitchen and bake okay uh we have different people in our family for that my mama liked to bake two of my sisters like to bake tiff and Demetrius. i'm not a baker i'm somebody who likes to cook okay so i cheated with the bake baked goods okay i got two patty labelle sweet potato pies and yes they're gonna be mm -mm good with some uh whipped cream and i got a red velvet cake and I'm calling it a day. So, I'll see y'all on the first day of Vlogmas. And once again, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving from the Longs. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night.